Hit apply, okay. And you'll mysteriously be able to see all these hidden folders. So you go into app data. You go into local, and this is basically the same thing as your local settings folder from XP. And you got temp. And this is all your temporary files. What's the deal with these files? Anytime you go to install a program, uh, you run a program, generally you're going to have files that are created in here. Um, temporary log files, all that stuff. It kind of builds up over time. Doesn't really hurt to go in here. Just select everything. You can do Control A and delete. Are you sure you want to delete all these items? Yes. And as you can see, through the counter there, that's about two gigs. A little bit over two gigs of temporary files I had there on my profile. And do I want to delete the cookies file? Yes. Do I want to permanently delete the next thing? Yes. Do I want to do that? Yes. 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 Do this for all bloody items. Try again. Try again. Okay, skip because it's already in use. Uh, generally, everything in the temp folder is safe to delete. Um, the whole point of it is it's temporary. It'll automatically be recreated. Open up Internet Explorer again, and as you can see, it already starts creating folders. All that good fun stuff. Internet Explorer is really peanut good. Butter at that. Jelly time. It is not peanut butter jelly time. <clears throat> and that's how you get rid of your temporary files. Um, after you go through, you clean up all this stuff uh, for all the user profiles. Uh, you probably want to go through, do other things like cleaning up, make sure you don't got any spyware, any extra programs. Um, you can go into your control panel, add remove programs, which is now called Invista Programs and Features. You're in kind of the classic view, that's what they call it there. If you're in the typical Vista view, it's a little bit faster to get to. You have programs and uninstall program. Click on that. And right there you got all your programs listed. You can uninstall pretty much any program that's not being used. Um, kind of use a little bit of care here. I have seen people go through and remove drivers for their sound card, their video card, uh, their motherboard, you name it. I've seen them go through thinking, oh, I don't need no C media audio. That, that's nonsense. Well, C media audio is <laughs> probably your <laughs> sound card driver. Uh, so you don't want to just remove everything in here. Uh, if you don't know what it is, you probably want to just leave it alone. If you're not using Microsoft Word anymore, yeah, remove that. Um, if you're not using Macromedia Contribute, like here, we don't use that. We can uninstall it. Um, I'm not going to bother to do that for the sake of time. But go through, clean that up. And once you do all that stuff, you get rid of spyware, you go through, you clean up your temporary files, you clean up all your cookies, your browsing history, all that. You're going to have a whole bunch of extra space now. And a good idea at that point would be to defragment your hard drive. So go back to your mic, uh, your computer. <laughs> that's a habit that's never going to go away. And you right click your C drive, whatever drive you want. Go to properties, go to tools, and defragmentation. Click on defragment. Typical user account control pops up, ask for permission. And you can go ahead and run your defragment now. You can just hit the defragment button right there. Now, I'm not going to bother to do that here. For, of course, it takes you know just a little bit of time for a defragment to finish. 
But as I found out a few minutes ago, Vista has defragmentation automatically scheduled on your computer. Uh, it'll by default run once a week, most likely Wednesday, and some obscure time on mine it seems to be set for 1 a.m. and it'll just defragment. Go through, clean up any files, rearrange them. It doesn't really clean up files, it rearranges them. Um, pretty much makes everything nice and tight so it doesn't have to go from one end of the drive to the other to start opening up files. Puts so everything pretty much in order. It's kind of like rearranging your file cabinet. Think of it that way. That's generally it. That's a kind of a quick way to go through, clean up your computer, get a little bit of performance going again on there. Uh, not too difficult. So if you have any questions on this or any other ideas for videos, questions you may have, feel free to send an email to video at defcon-5.com. And oh, there we go. <clears throat> it took a while for the video to switch. And uh, like always, you can visit us in the chat, which you can see at the bottom right corner down there. See that little critter down there? That's the chat room. Everybody's probably talking all kinds of stuff. But apparently my chat my sound is breaking in and out. That's nice to know. <laughs> but um, you can always participate here in the chat. Anytime we do a video. Usually streaming at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every weekday. Until next time, see you later.